What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar, and uh, let me tell you how creepy uh, YouTube is. All right, so remember last episode, you know, I went on a rant about dating single moms and daddy yada. Well, YouTube decided to put a video on my uh, algorithm, and it's called Single Moms Don't Understand the Difference Between Dating and This. And I ain't watch it yet. I wanted to watch it with y'all. And it's by Media Man. Because you have multiple and, baby daddies, it's oh, not me. Oh, hold on. And I want to react to it with y'all. And we can get into it. So let's swap over. And uh, let's start. Because you have multiple baby daddies, does not mean that you are less valuable. It does not mean that nobody will date you, okay? It just means that you need to refine your dating standards. She said two words that should have stuck out to you guys. Single mothers, date, and dating. Nothing about marriage. And single mothers, y'all got to get better at this. If you're going to sit there and cape for, for yourselves, then your wording and your verbiage has to be, your terminology has to be better. So when you say date, there are a lot of men on the dating market that will happily oblige y'all asses. They will date you, <laughs> but y'all never say anything about marriage. Because the majority of the time, those men are not looking to marry you, but they know that you having sex because you got living proof walking around asking for fruit snacks. Damn, that's <laughs> damn. I can't even. I can't even add them to it. You got buckaroos, so they know you didn't have sex. So you're like, <laughs> yeah, I will date a single mother, but marry? No. But y'all feed into this by saying date and dating and you trying to you know stand on your high horse and trying to shame men but it's dudes back there birdman yes date dating yes keep it going <laughs> here we go because there are men out there like this who will say to you that you are less valuable because you have multiple um, children with multiple men. But at the end of the day, men who do that, I really qualify them as my sisters. Okay, so I guess telling the truth, we supposed to be your sisters. But ladies, you can't decide your value on the dating market. Men decide that. And again, your your children are precious to you. We understand that. However, you saying that, you know, you know your worth, you're going on the dating market and we are not less valuable, so to speak. You don't determine that. The men that you are actually trying to date and or marry do. Just like y'all determine a man's uh, value on the dating market. Is that fair to say? Can a man who doesn't check certain boxes go on the dating market and say that I know what I'm worth? I'm worth dating a model or something like that. No. So if men can accept that, y'all got to accept that too. So it's not going to hurt black men for shaming, you know, shaming us by saying, you know, I'm going to call y'all my sisters. That even actually makes it worse because now you're going to get men to stay away from you. And if you think that's a positive and you assume that all these white men are just marrying single mother black women, you got another thing coming, buddy boy. Ditto for buddy boy over there. Ditto for buddy boy. <laughs> what <are> you? <laughs> buddy girl. <laughs> The white men, they doing the same thing. They sneaking in with black women. I seen a troubling story that was kind of crazy. Some dude in South Carolina infecting a lot of black women with HIV for just sleeping with them. And I was like, man, this is, this is absolutely nuts. So y'all need to you know, straighten up or something like that because the men that marry you the most and y'all going to shame black men, that's, that's a wild strategy. So, <laughs> okay, let's continue. Honestly, if I was a man, I would only date single mothers or people to, or mothers, period, because- mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop you there. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm, no, let no, me, no, I'm, let, I'm, me, I'm, let, me, I'm, let me get an explanation to that. I feel like motherhood changed me so much. Mm -hmm. And although I'm married, I'm not single. Mm -hmm. mental, my mental, that my, it's not cause I'm, I'm my, my mental isn't married. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So she's speaking on this and sh she's, they be coming up, some women be coming up with anything to make us feel like we are wrong for the way we go out. And, and women like them, women like her make it bad. 
make you make a lot of men stay away from dating single moms just because how they act and not all single moms ain't shit but she definitely labeling a lot of single moms and just it's it's not like i don't even want to hear what the fuck she finna say because it's gonna be some bullshit and it's just like oh you had to be a hoe and have a kid to change your life to understand the quality of different men you had to have a kid to go through all that like that's stupid as fuck you know what i'm saying like that like no man should have to wait on you to be a hoe to have a kid for you to act right God, and that be the shit that like i'm talking about and it's just like like me because i dated single women single moms people women with kids think i'm just gonna date them and talk to them instantly or give them a chance and it's just like no like i've only dated two single moms two that's it and even then like you know they had viable re you know what i'm saying like their life like they went out here while and they were young like they were still like in their early 20s you know what i'm saying just shit happens but the ones that are like you know i graduated with that when they didn't fuck with me in school now they fuck with me or you know just, or i talk to their friend and now that they didn't have kids and stuff now they want to double back to me like no bro like them them be the ones that like you just take care from <sighs> okay mental is my mental yeah. so when i tell you my, my a lot of stuff about me change i value myself more i value my time more i don't really give my time and my energy to shit that just don't that don't matter don't Cause you see, them be them be the word like cause she was she done hoeing now, so now she value herself. Equate to nothing. Mm -hmm. So if I was a man, especially if I was a man that was older in age a little bit, you know, like Papa, I would literally be like, you know what? I want a single woman because a single a, a single mom mom they know how to get it done. Mm -hmm. They they literally they they really be like the the grade A people for real for real. It'd be a single women the, uh, the them not us because I got. But you gotta be careful. But when I, was, I, advocate with that. I don't know what case she's trying to make. I mean, the men have to decide that. And like I said, in the black care well, in the United States. The men that marry single mothers the most are actually black men. But typically, right. those men may have children as well. And also, you know, some things, and this is just my observation, I hear a lot of men saying that single mothers aren't as appreciative as they were back in the day when a man did step up and, you know, decide to marry her and take on the task of raising her children. Do you have any kids? Three kids. How old are your kids? 19, 14. 14 and 2. How old are you, Nisha? I'll be 40 next month. Okay. Um, do your kids have the same father? Three fathers. What's your deal breakers? Uh, um, deal breakers are multiple baby mothers, more than two, three kids. And she got multiple baby daddies and got three kids. Oh my God, bro. See, that be the shit I'm talking about. It's Skip it, say what? Come again, say what? Skip it, say what? Come again, say what? Wait, hold um, on, Misha. And I say this with all, all due respect. You have three baby daddies. But my kids are grown. My my But you still are got three grown. baby daddies, so why can't he have multiple baby mamas? Young kids. Okay, so young baby mamas. Young kids, young baby mamas. So we can have three baby mamas, but they just can't be young? They can't be young kids, no. no. So it's about the kids, not about, not about the amount of baby mamas. Both. I don't want no young kids. No. Bro, Kendra's done. I see why she don't do this show. Does she still do this show? Y'all let me know in the comments. I heard she stopped. Multiple baby mamas with young kids. How long the baby mamas gotta be? No, no, no. Not the baby mamas. The baby mamas are adults, I'm assuming. No man with young kids. And well, that's why I said because, mamas. no, I get that. But you said not multiple baby mamas. And that's why I said you have three baby daddies. So you don't care how many baby mamas he has. Right. Meaning, no, like I said, no more. I have three baby daddies. So no more than what I have. That's, three. That's multiple. No more than, well, yeah. And there's men out there with more than that. So that's my max. I, oh, they're telling me that she said no young kids, but you got a two year old. I do have a two year old. So why can't he have a young kid? 
because it's only room for one young kid. I don't I don't want to deal with the young baby mom. So you don't wow. want to date yourself. So if you was a man, you wouldn't date you. If I was a yeah, I would date me. Well, you have what you have a two year old, but you're saying if a guy had a two year old, you wouldn't date him. So the things that you have, you wouldn't date as a man. For if if, if for a man, yes. So no, so if you were a man with your resume, you wouldn't date yourself. Probably not. So, but you want a man to date you? A absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bitch, you're going too far. No can do. We got to make a certain amount of money. At least like 150. 100, At least. 150,000 a year. At least. Does he, does he have to provide for your boys too? Um, No. I take care of my kids by myself. I don't really. I would say like as far as setting the example for them yeah as far as financially no because i'm gonna always make something happen for my kids no matter what it is do you want to get married one day i would i do want to do i do want to get married one day i do oh so would he have to live with your kids if he married you yes and he so would have to set the example gonna for buy, them. he's only gonna buy one piece of grocery for himself he's only gonna pay the light bill for himself no so not at all providing for your kids if he marries you you don't think so yes definitely like, yes you have to provide for your kids you're a real man if you marry us and you take care of my kids like you're entitled no you gotta you know, check the attitude and be grateful that a man is actually going to marry and try and take care of your children it needs to be some some level of uh appreciation there instead of thinking that you are viewed the same on the dating market as women who don't have children that's wild what would you do if you had a million dollars i'll tell you what i'd do man marry a 40 year old woman with somebody else's kids <laughs> <laughs> goodness gracious i hear that that all the time dudes say they ain't appreciative but yeah y'all gotta get your wording correct because when you say date Men like, yeah, we don't have no problem with dating single mothers, but it's never marriage. And that should be where you focus on. And that's when the vetting process comes in. Get some men around you to make sure this dude is there for the right reasons. And in my opinion, if it's a guy who doesn't have kids, you know what he's there for. You know why I'm here. You know why I'm here. You know why I'm here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got two or three kids. And some single man with no no kids is dealing with you. You really think he gonna settle down and take care of three buckaroos? No, he there because you having sex with him. So you might as well go ahead and Brady bunch it. The one day when the lady met this fellow, the way they all became the Brady bunch. Find you a dude that already got kids that match how many that you have, and y'all live a peaceful life together. I mean, it's a little bit of game. We'll see how it works. <laughs> because you have multiple baby daddies. Is uh, well, y'all saw it. That was wild. Boy, them be, that, them be the one. Yeah, stay away from them, man. Yeah, stay away from them, bro. I say, let's see. Out of every 50 baby, out of every 50 baby mamas. You probably got two or three on that's worth a damn. That's just from my uh, me vetting and and you know speculating and the people I've dealt with. You probably got two, three, two, three and a half that ain't shit. The half is she still be fucking with her baby daddies, but nah, she ain't shit. Three, I'll put three. Yeah. Cause there's a lot of them out here that's just stupid, and still use that uh, what's them lines that uh they used to say uh, right guy wrong time and all that extra bullshit. Anyway, we ain't finna get into it. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this video. I see y'all later, bro. I told y'all I'm, I'm getting back started, just slowing, just doing the process slow, and I see y'all in the next one. Peace out.